Welcome back guys. This question was asked in gate 2020 for two marks. The statement says, a processor has 64 registers and uses 16 bit instruction format. It has two types of instructions, I and R. Each I type instruction contains a opcode, register name and a four bit immediate value. Each R type instruction contains an opcode and two register names. There are eight distinct I type opcodes, then the maximum number of distinct R type opcodes is. Okay. So you are given, we have eight I type instructions. How many maximum R type instructions are possible? Where I type instruction uses this four bit immediate value and one register, one register spe is specified in the instruction. Now, total 64 registers are present in our CPU. That means specifying one register needs six bits because two to the power six is 64. Okay, so this is six bits. Similarly, these two fields are also six, six bits each. Okay, that means this part is four bits and this part is six bits. Okay, because total length of instruction is given as 16, this much is 16, this is 10, so we are left with six bits. Now this is 12, we are left with four bits. Okay, now you see, first of all, we need to differentiate between I type instructions and R type instructions. Okay, for that, what we can do is just fix one bit. For example, we can just fix the first bit. If it's one, say this one is a I type instruction. If this bit is zero, say this one is a R type instruction. Then we have three more bits here. Because out of four bits, we have fixed the first one to be zero for R type instructions. Then we are left with three bits. That means total eight R type instructions are possible. But there is always other way. Eh? This eight is not maximum. We can do one more thing or we can have one more solution where R type opcodes or R type instructions supported can be more than eight. Instead of fixing this bit, what I'm trying to say is you don't fix this bit, include this bit also in opcode. And then you have four bit, four bits for specifying the opcode. That means possibly more than eight R type opcodes could be supported. Okay, let's see that solution. Now in this method, the instruction which has smallest opcode, that means R type, because here the opcode is of four bits. Here the opcode is of six bits. Okay, so you begin with the instruction which has smallest opcode. That means R type instructions. Now you are not given how many R type instructions are supported. So we can simply assume them to be X. Okay, so X R type instructions are supported by our processor. Here the opcode is of four bits. That means with four bits, you can use or you can create 16 combinations. That means you can support 16 instructions with these four bits, okay. Total combinations possible with these four bits is 16. But only X of these 16 combinations are used for R type. That means these many combinations are left for I type. So what I'm trying to say is out of these bits, these bits, let me use another color.
out of the first four bits x combinations are used for r types and 16 minus x are used for i types because total combinations possible with four bits were 16 we are left with only x combinations for i type now you see we are given that total instructions of i type are 8 that means these combinations are equal to 8 but one thing that we have missed is here these two bits are also a part of opcode that means these four bits create these many combinations these two bits will increase the number of combinations by four what i'm trying to say is whatever combinations are generated here we can multiply the number by 2 raised to the power 2 because four combinations are generated by these two bits okay that means you multiply this number by 2 raised to the power 2 now you can solve this equation to get the value of x let me do that this is 4 this is 8 that means 4 2s are 8 we are left with 16 minus 8 is equal to 2 minus x is equal to minus 14 x is equal to 14 okay so instead of just eight combinations the answer that we were getting earlier now using this method we can support 14 r type combinations or 14 r type instructions let's let's just analyze this how are we getting this number 14 If you see carefully, these four bits could generate these combinations. Yeah, four bits could generate these 16 combinations out of this 14 combinations x value comes out to be 14 14 combinations are used for identifying r type instructions that means up to here they identify a r type instruction these 14 combinations are assigned to 14 r type opcodes or they are simply 14 opcodes and these two the remaining combinations identify one out of eight you are given eight i type instructions now you can say these are only four combinations how can they identify eight items or how can these four combinations be assigned to eight i type instructions for that purpose we have these two bits extra now you have one 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 zero now with this first pattern triple one zero you can create four combinations using these two bits because two power two is four the first pattern leads to the four leads to these four combinations they are triple one zero 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 one one zero one one and the beginning part is same which is triple one zero that means similarly this pattern would also create four combinations 4 plus 4 is 8. So what our processor does is it analyzes first 4 bits. Okay, whatever instruction is given or whatever opcode is given, it will analyze the first 4 bits. If they come out to be any of these patterns, any of these 14s, the processor is going to process that instruction as a R type instruction. That means these 6 bits, the next 6 bits, are going to specify a register name but if these four bits represent any of these two patterns then the processor is going to take two more bits that means next two bits will also be taken into consideration for identifying one instruction one instruction that two of i type okay after identifying one instruction that means now we have used six bits already for identifying the instruction then we'll be left with only six uh, sorry 10 bits 
out of those next six are going to use uh, going to be used for identifying a register and next four represent a immediate value in this case what was happening only four bits were enough to identify your opcode then we had six plus six bits to identify two registers okay anyways the answer is 14